In this video, we are going to study linear regression residual standard error in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step regarding the Jupyter Notebook is that we need to insert a new cell below and we do so by clicking on Insert Cell Below button. Then the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages, therefore we comment this as Step 1 Packages. And for this we're going to import NumPy as MP, we're importing NumPy for the calculation of the square root. Then we're going to import statsmodels.api as SM, we're importing that feature from stats models for data downloading. And then we're going to import stats models dot formula dot API as SMF, we're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation. To run this code lines or this cell, we can either click run or we can press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object which is equal to sm feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore r dataset and we open parentheses first parameter which is data name equals some within quotations we have house prices comma package equals some within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is the following. We're downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cache equals to true means that once we download the data, it saves it locally so we don't need to go and download it again every time we're on the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we need to create a new object named house prices with only the data, therefore equals to and from the house prices underscore object, we get its dot data attribute. And we want to visualize part of this data and we do so with print and from the house prices object with dot ILOC or integrated location we're going to select all the rows from columns 0 to 3 with Python notation that's going to be the first three columns and we're going to get its dot head method open and close parentheses. So to run this code lines or this cell we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see part of this data being printed. So we have the first five rows and the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason we're only visualizing this data is because we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is a dependent or explained variable which has been explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation on this data, you can do so with the following code line which is print and from the house prices underscore object we're going to get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute and we press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the full documentation below. So now we're going to continue with step number three which is the model. For this we're going to create an object name MLR which stands for multiple linear regression which is equal to SMF feature from stats models dot OLS or an I least course function and within it the following parameters which are formula equals to within quotations because this is a string we have price as a dependent or explained variable. This special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above, the one that only includes the data. And we go ahead and fit this regression, open and close parentheses. So to run this code line, we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard and we continue with the following step, which is the results from this regression. And we're going to go ahead and print the residual standard error. Therefore, we do so with the following code line, which is print. And we have mp or numpy.sqrt or square root. And from the mlr object, we are going to get mse underscore resid. So the residual standard error is a goodness of fit metric for the linear regression. And it is equal to the square root of the residuals mean square error. So to run this code line, we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard and we see the result being printed. 
and we also want to do the manual calculation of this residual standard error and we do so with the following code line which is print and we have again numpy dot sqrt or square root of that residuals mean square error therefore we're going to do the calculation of that residual mean square error with the sum of and we have from mlr object we're going to get its dot resid those residuals to the power of two and that result being divided by and from the mlr object we're going to get dot df underscore resid which are the residuals degrees of freedom so regarding this second manual calculation we have as mentioned previously that the residual standard error is equal to the square root of the residuals mean square error which by itself is equal to the sum of the residuals to the power of two divided by the residuals number of degrees of freedom so let's go ahead and run this code line by pressing shift enter on the keyboard and we see the result being printed below and we can see that this is an equivalent calculation to the one we had above okay so with this we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it and with this we also finish with this video thank you for watching